Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing the power of a 66% win rate Mordekaiser build. It's extremely AP heavy and then you start to flex more in the tank. You want to go for a Sork Shoe Rush into a Rift Maker, Rylize into Jack Show. This sets you up to have the most gank potential and damage early on and then you can kind of coast into being a tank frontliner in the late game. Rylize Rush is certainly still viable on Mordekaiser. Its main downside is Rylize doesn't give any ability haste, so your R and everything else will be on a longer cooldown. Riftmaker gives them way more raw solo potential. Shadow Flame and Storm Surge aren't really worth it on most champions at the moment, and I really wouldn't recommend it on Mordekaiser at all right now. Even though this build does utilize Sork Shoes, if the enemy team is incredibly AD or AP heavy, you should go for Plated or Merc Treads respectively. I don't know what the third item is. I don't want to build Jack Show. For our runes, we have Conquer, Triumph, Alacrity, Last Stand, with Conditioning, Revitalize, Attack Speed, AP, and Health. Ward's early game is really slow. If you don't have <laughs> the best gank option, you generally just don't gank. Because his early ganks are not the best. You gotta come in behind somebody for it to make sense. We get our E level 2 to clear faster. Your W doesn't speed up your clears at all. If I didn't get a leash, I would've just smited it. But I got a crazy big leash. I'm a big fan of that leash. It's pretty good. Pretty solid. Go ahead and hit the big one. The small ones will die from our AoE. After hitting a monster or champion three times, we get this big circle around us. It speeds us up and does a damage, of course. Oof, almost messed that up. We could go ahead and get another point into Q to clear a bit quicker. In fact, let's give that a go. You don't typically see it because it's... A kind of greedy but uh i think it can make some sense here q we've been sniping out the big wolf there i don't know if you guys noticed that i dropped my passive though so that's dicey auto and e auto q echo already got a kill ap new to mid is kind of hit or miss Emphasis on the miss. Smite that into us. We don't need to stay and hit the blue buff. Our passive can kill it. And it looks like we were able to do roughly, I'd say, kind of like a 315 because I'm already walking away. We can set up on the bot gank potentially here. We didn't need a potion. Finished pretty healthy going two points in Q. I don't mind that at all. Normally you would go point in W level 3, especially if you think the enemy jungler is going to invade you. I don't even know if this is really that gankable. I guess we'll try it. Alright. We get Ezreal off the hook. We did get an Ezreal flash. Not bad. I'll go for Scuttle Crab here. Bot flash, 830. Velvet's going to get nerfed soon, but for right now she is pretty strong. With how much Storm Surge got nerfed, I'm not a huge fan of the item anymore. I take it on almost nobody. It's rarely ever the right item option. It's just a, always a better option than it, generally speaking. I could try ganking bot lane here again. I'll leave a ward. I have to reset. Then the bot lane's kind of backing up anyways. First item back, I would love to buy Swork Shoes. I absolutely cannot afford it though, so... We're not gonna buy it. Just get boots. The amp tome. Noon is kind of struggling. Belveth's in my jungle. She might actually stay for my raptor, so I'll head over there, try to get her off of that. She's getting kind of fed. Yep. Got the Q auto. We might be able to run her down. I do have boots advantage. She can't even go over walls. Get him with a Q auto. I'll run this guy down. Down he goes. Belvest should have ran when you had the chance, boy! Boof! Nunu took the double kill. Rip, I need... <laughs> I guess he does have Dark Sill, so I guess it's fine. We'll go ahead and take these. Activate our W. Whenever you're fighting champions, you want to try to line up your W. You don't, you don't want to throw out your skill shots too soon. It's safest to lead in with auto attacks. Once they stand still to hit you or start using an ability, that's when it's generally safest. Or if they line themselves up with a wall, and their top lane is just going to push casually push me off of these. How cool is that? How cool is this? 
All right, we'll see if Gwen can pinch. I have low expectations. Pretty good. It's worth. I needed to back somewhat anyways. Red buff up in 58. I'll clear bot to top here then. We got all three of those grubs. That gives us and our allies more damage against turrets on hit with our autos. You don't know where the enemy jungler is, so bot lane's going to be a little careful here. Ezreal, Oom, Milio, low mana. Always leading with an EQ against monster camps. They're not going to dodge your skill shot, so throwing your skill shots out early while farming is fine. Against champions, you typically want to pressure them before throwing out an E. Then they'll, they'll typically find a way to dodge it. If they're expecting it. Oh, that's squishy. The grubs are only on a 4 minute cooldown versus dragons 5. So if I take grubs first and then she takes dragons to counter me. To be like, oh, you're on the other side of the map. I take drag. That's my counter play. Well, I can get the next grubs before her and still show up to the next dragon. You see how grubs are up in like 3 minutes. Drags up to 435. So that's exactly what just happened. No. We'll get the grubs, which give loads of XP, a little bit of gold. We'll show up at Dragon Fight and knock her head in. That is the plan. Your W is kind of useful in your first clear, but outside of that, Mord Farm is pretty healthy in general to where you don't typically have to use your W. Am I going to be 6 here? Nice! We're 6. I'm going to go beat up this Camille. I have tier 2 boots as well, so I'm pretty fast. It's good for Mord because he's so immobile. Alright, here we go. Let's get a boy! I'm gonna auto into R. Auto Q. Got my W on. We're gonna jump to Camille. Got her. I missed my E too. All with the Sork Shoes, baby. I love Sork Shoe Mord Rush. Sure, your true solo fight, if you do not have ultimate, is gonna be a bit weaker. <laughs> However, you're normally gonna be ganking. Mord is a clearer and a ganker. Once he's sick, sure, he's a great soloist, but. Pre-6, clear gank. And uh, Sworks are great for that because people are trying to get away from you. Toss out the EQ. Get them on cooldown. Oh, we're full health. Love to see that. Right now, our extra movement speed from passive is really high. 6%. It starts out at 3, gets all the way up to 9. I can't get to that gank effectively. So Grubs are up in 1 minute 30. We're going to want to be there for that. As you can probably guess. I'll follow Nunu and he's doing a weird chase. Hmm. Yeah. I'll push this for Nunu so he can roam off. <clears throat> this will put pressure on Echo or the uh, Belvet to stay. So Belve, in this case, Belvet stays new to get to roam for free Echo Backs. Grubs up in one minute. My R is on cooldown, so I don't know. Should probably just reset, spend my 1600. Grub fight, please. Lux needs to reset now. We have to get to Grub fight because Belveth. Once Belveth's six, a single Grub gives her the big gas tank. It's really, really bad. You don't want her to get that. The gas tank, so her normal gas tank for her empowerment on a her R is 60 seconds. If she gets a Grub, Herald, or Baron, she gets 180 seconds and the increased tank to where she can keep refilling it from there off champions or dragons. You do not want to let her get that. If Belveth isn't allowed to get Grubs, Heralds, or Barons, she's a pretty bad champion. She's kind of low B tier at best. But with them, she's approaching S tier, especially right now with how meta she is. Oh, he's about to go in. Nunu, you gotta do something here, my man. Down with the smite. Uh, this is a little dicey to chase. We need to get to grubs. The thing is, we could chase for three minutes. Potentially not even kill him. Belvet's about to walk into me. I want to break vision on wall if possible. I'm gonna go ghost in. Not sure who I'm gonna R. Probably Belveth. I don't know, she outplayed me. <clears throat> I art her when she was a little too far away. I couldn't even get to her. I had to get it off sooner, but with her dash, it messed things up a little bit. She was already low in hindsight. We should have just gone for these bad boys. But hey, at least she doesn't get one. We want to stand to where I'm hitting them all. 
And we can still get Dragon as well, because Grubs are a shorter cooldown. So it really is best to pry out Grubs early. Even if they get Dragon, you'll get the second one. You'll have a strong opportunity to get the second one. Velvet's low here. Drag's up in 20. Yeah, we can just take Drag. Nice job from the Lux. Echo's staying on our turret. He has tier 1 boots. Nunu is tier 1 as well. Missed my E. That's a feels bad moment. I'm going to run this guy all the way down. Nunu should chase too. I think it's a mistake to let him lead. Leave, but... That's just me, I guess. But he, he's not even going to go to the dragon without me, so I, I think we should have just killed this guy, to be honest. Whatever. <clears throat> it is what it is. I'm on my way. We'll have Rift Make soon. You can go for Rylai's Rush, but Rylai's doesn't give you the same amount of damage as Rift Make. Rift Make gives you loads of Omni Vamp and bonus damage. And on top of that, Rylai's gives you zero ability haste. Rift Make gives you 15% or 15 ability haste. Oh, I missed the knockup. I think I landed my EQ. I can't really tell. <clears throat> hey, Echo. Goodbye, Echo. Skadoosh. Well played, my man. Well prayed. Oof. You got a shield there. <laughs> Walk him down. <laughs> yeah, he ended up dodging my Q. He comes out Melio shields. Oh, that knockback is brutal. Yeah, I can't quite stay on top of that. Mm, got the knock up on me. Nice if I could move here. <laughs> she had full crack in there. That's rough. Couldn't really get out of there. Damage output so freaking high. <laughs> we'll go for our Rylai's now. It's really important for staying on top of people. We already have 15 ability haste, which is a sweet spot. 15 translates to 13% cooldown reduction. Lucids are certainly good on Mord, but uh, Sorks feel better if you're hitting your Qs. Mord Q has such good scaling that it translates better. Oh, she's taking my stuff. What a rat. Got her. This is bad. Camille got there so fast. Let's see what Gwen can do. She needs to stay on Camille before Camille's jump comes back up. <clears throat> we were able to solo Belveth. I'm pretty happy with that considering she's a full item. I'm a full item. Granted, I do have tier 2 boots advantage over her. But even if she had Merc Treads there, I, I think we still comfortably win that fight. Just because we are moored. Neither one of us... Uh, I think she was still technically on her ultimate. Her empowerment. But I, of course, didn't have mine. So I think that balances out my gold advantage on her a little bit. My ultimate is up here in a moment. We'll go ahead and take these. Pop with the Q and we're chilling. I'm not even gonna use my W anymore to farm. There's no point. Farm so healthy. We have R up, that makes it a good gank. We have Ghost up, that makes it a good gank. We'd only need one, we'd only need both. Belveth's top side. Got it. Let's see what Nunu can do. I'm surprised he didn't wait for the skull speed up. Skadoosh, got him with the Q. <laughs> I accidentally used my E there. Yeah, good luck getting away from that group. Super, super fast. Go ahead and take this. I do have my R, so if someone shows up, I should be able to wreck them. I'm going to hold on to my W still, especially with the red buff healing me. 13 health a second. 
I'll hold on to my E. Oh, yeah, they got the Herald. <clears throat> or at least getting some of her camps. If she knows I'm over here, she's going to go into my Raptors. She's done a lot of greedy stuff like that this game where she just kind of shows up. We are tied up CS with her. That's decent. We've been ganking more than she has. My R is up. My ghost is up. No one wants to fight. We'll wait for drag. And Camille's kind of low. She might do something dumb here. Got her with an E. I think I made the Lux Q miss there, unfortunately. Got it. This is my auto. Let's go for drag. I burned ghost for that to stay on with my autos a little bit better. The sad thing is if I didn't press R, the Lux Q would have connected. I got my E lined up with the wall. Kind of pulled him weird there. Alright, we'll reheal. We'll go for this. Belveth does have a big execute, so I kind of have to watch out for that. They're full health, too. That sucks. Uh, this is dicey. I don't know what my bot lane's doing. My bot lane's staying instead of coming for dragon. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I'm going to block this auto with my W. We really should be taking this. Nunu's kind of... Uh, like, I don't really care if we lose two turrets. I, I'll take the drag. We're playing Draxel win con anyways. Got him with the EQ. Still have my W I can use. I don't have smite for this. Nice job from the Nunu there. Got him with the Q. We'll get him with an E. I got my W down for that. All right, I'll go for Scuttle. Oh, wait. Nunu's still chasing? I don't know about that one, man. He missed a snowball as well. Yep. He gave up a shutdown for nothing. For a big bowl of nothing, too. I can push her off these. Wow, she's actually going for it. She's crazy. Got him with the EQ auto. Oh, it connected. Nice. The luck setup. That was dirty. <clears throat> that was really, really dirty. I can get my Rylize now. It's going to make a huge difference. Way needs to be careful. Echo has massive execute damage on his autos. <sighs> Belvest looking mid. Does she still have that big gas tank? I think she does. In a team fight, I'm most likely going to R Camille or Echo as long as they're not near a wall. What is she doing? I need to get an auto on her into Q. Got my big shield on. I need my teammates to get here. Into Q. Oof. Nice try, Belveth. Nice try. The Mordekaiser are still 10% of their core stats is wild. It's a 20% stat. Um... Uh, Delta. Like they lose 10, you gain 10. It's not just they lose 10, you gain 10. It, it's a huge deal. There's very few champions who can fight more than R. The, most of the champions who can, it's later on in the game, like a Master Yi, a Jax. For the most part, Mord's early game six is kind of impossible to solo out for melees. Wait, Camille's right here. <clears throat> that goes on my teammate. Oh, this is bad. I got gang banged. Ways lawn, man. I should have just backed off. I'm also sitting on a stupid amount of unspent gold, so that's my bad. I might have to go for Jack Show this game. I'm one of the primary tanks for my team. Jack Show's really good on Mord. It is a 66% win rate build after all. These guys are kind of tanky, too, so. We'll just run the 66% win rate build. Easy peasy. Jack Show is on Mord's top two item builds. That is 66% win rate and a 62% win rate. They're kind of just taking turrets for free. It's, it's kind of crazy. Weighs a lot on mana and he's not resetting. It makes no sense. 
I'm gonna press R on her. Well, or I could just hit her with an EQ, that works too. I did have to burn Ghost for it, but it's, it's really, really good. Oh, we're trying to surrender. All right, that's cool. <laughs> we're trying to give up. Oh, wait, we're full AP. Nice. The best part about it is I was second pick Mordekaiser. Cool. So all they have to do is stack magic resist and they kind of win by default. I just realized that. Gwen does have some true damage. We're going to need a lot of wood staff. The be that, that is one of the hardest things to understand is when you're first or second pick and then your teammates all continue to draft that same damage type. Luckily, they don't have a true tank like a Zac or uh, Malphite or something that can just stack a bunch of a, a resistance type. But, uh, I mean, you're, you're seeing it. It's all Merc Treads across the board. Absolutely. I think with Draxel, we can still win through Gwen's true damage output. I think she's got true damage on passive and her R. Hey, Fred. I can't really get to them. I got Echo R, though. We should win this fight. Gwen should be matching that top lane split push. We're going to lose at least one turret for this. I, I think Gwen's over here with TP up. It's brutal. Brutal. Yeah, she just realized she, she may still lose that turret. Oh, Melio actually died to something. That's kind of cool. We get her with the EQ. My E missed. I'm going to R the Belveth Smiter down. Get her with the Q auto. Auto and the Q. Down she goes. Missed my E on Ezreal. We need to go for drag. We can't keep chasing. I kind of need to heal up too. They have so much execute damage on their team with Echo Autos. Uh, Belveth E. I don't know if Camilla has execute damage or not. I forget. It's a really good fight for us. Basically, when you have people with teleports, those are the people who, for the most part, need to match the split push. Because yeah, let, let's say if I went to match that, first of all, we won't have a smite on drag. And then I can't TP in. But the enemy top has TP. So it's kind of an automatic loss. Oof. They're chasing. Melio's there. Camille's there. Ezreal's there. Ezreal's two full items. Camille, two full item. I don't know what's worded and what's not, too. Say we get on Ezreal if possible. As funny as that sounds. Got the E. Down he goes. I guess we go for Camille now. Lux needs a path into us. Oh, wow. Lux dies there. That, that was one strong ignite. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Level 14 ignite. Crazy, dude. I don't really want her farming my stuff. Sure enough, she randomly autos it. And yeah, we're just playing for Draxel. It's that, it's that simple. We have to win this next Drag fight or we lose by default. Even if we win this next Drag fight, there's no guarantee since we're so magic damage heavy. We all kind of have to build magic penetration. I might even pick up an Abyssal. Still is their magic resist gives it to me. They have a lot of magic damage through the Echo, mainly. A little on Melio. I guess Melio's all magic damage, and then Ezreal's got a little bit. Camille Cone might be magic damage. I don't remember. That is five reds for my team. Since it's past 20 minute mark, whenever anyone on our team takes a buff, we all get what we all get it. I'll go Jack Show into, I guess, Abyssal. I think that's our best move here. We're just too magic damage heavy not to have an Abyssal on our team. Otherwise, if you're going to go for an armor item, you'd go for a Zhonya's. Like, this is after your jack shot I'm referencing. You'd go for Zhonya's. You'd go for possibly a dead man's Randoons. You don't want Frozen Heart. You don't need the mana. Got with the Smite Q. Auto and R. Got him. 
I'm on ghost here, so. The scumbag's so fast. I gotta go for Milio. My hook actually missed Milio there. That's oof. Oof. Yeah, couldn't get to him. I don't have my R. Ooh, there's someone behind us. We gotta go this way. We have to play this really slow. Uh, or that. Yeah, I don't know. That's a bad fight for us. AP Noon is pretty dang useless. His only value comes from a big snowball or a big R outside of that. It's incredibly weak. Ezreal, no magic resist. Melio, no magic resist. The other three have some. Camille the most with that Maw. I guess they're on Baron. I don't even have my R for this. Mm, I don't know how fast they can take this. Oops. Haha, <laughs> I used my Q. Or my E. For no reason. Not having E makes fights hard. Got it. Got it with a Q smite. Kind of just standing here waiting to press Q when they overcommit. <laughs> That's all I can do right now. I wasted my E twice that fight. More Q smite is a really big combo. Because our Q hits single target. It's uh, hitting pretty big. I should have art her sooner. I didn't think she was going to be able to kill him like that. Down she goes. We got to go for drag. Two of them are dead. Only one of our guys is dead. Whoa, they got a lot of wards. Oh, I was dang. I was hoping he would juke down, but he, he reacted properly. I think we can still get drag though. Camille's dead. She doesn't have TP, I don't think. Jack shows pretty useful. They don't want to overcommit because once they jump in, I can perma slow. So the way I was positioning, especially since we have a Lux to shield, we got some decent value. Nunu's looking to set up a big R. We need to just get this though. I'm going to pull it all the way out. I think they know that if we get this, they lose. With the type of champions they have, Gwen's going to be way too tanky. I'm going to be way too tanky. Oh, we got to fight this chick. Got her with an EQ. Oh, I didn't have smite. I don't know who else was hitting dragon there. I wasn't touching it. Except for maybe my passive. My smite was on a cooldown. That sucks. Gwen dies as well. I don't even know how she got into the pit. She had a blast cone or flash or something. She didn't have her... Uh, I don't think she had her, her rift coral. He's in our jungle somewhere. This new new randomly dies in there. <laughs> oh man. I don't know where Echo went. Oh, okay. He just kind of ran off. Yeah, I'll go Abyssal, I guess. Just because my team's so magic damage heavy. From here, I suppose I have to go for Void Staff. Void Staff or Cosmic. Either's fun. Lux can't really get away from that. She got the blue, at least. She's dead, though. Yeah. Lux needs to stay with someone. They have Echo Assassin, Belvet Assassin, Camille Assassin. I'm, me and Gwen are two of the only people who could actually uh, possibly solo Camille and stuff. I was kind of standing on his uh, his exit route on Echo, his, his R shadow. I wasn't going to let him get away. Echo's going to get his dash back up, or Ezreal. He's going to be hard for me to chase, so I'm not going to bother. He's going to hit me with a few cues and then jump over the wall. Camille's a little different. Because I can uh, spank her a bit better. She's beating the tar out of my Gwen, though. Aw, 
Auto into R. Have to ghost her down for this. Where's my team? Nice. Okay. Ezreal's hitting me though. Got it. I'm landing a lot of damage here. Got it. Whoa! That Q did almost 1k. The Q hit Emilio and he... He disappeared. Camille just legit wouldn't die there. Holy crap. She lived that whole time on my back line. Gosh, like that... Man. Nunu just no damage. Even when he lands it. The damage is weak. Echo's going to do very little to me with how much magic resist I have through Jack Show and Abyssal. Oh man, I do such little damage to this chick. No AD on our team. Second pick more jungle. We need to lock in. Way bot lane. Ah. Surprised people are still playing way. That champion is uh, really something. Him and Smolder, they don't seem to even get picked that much, to be honest, for being new. Low charisma champs. Unlike Mordekaiser, check it out. <laughs> Completely different. I'm not sitting on a full item. I do think Void Staff is probably my best bet at this point. Void Staff or Cosmic. I already have a uh, self healing covered with my Rift Maker. Got 10% Omni Vamp from it. I don't really know who I should get with my R. I guess Milio or Belveth. Auto Q. My E literally missed. How sad is that? I don't like this fight. It's sad that the only person I can kill is Milio. <laughs> For real. Everyone else gets away from me. Alright, we'll take it. Wow, we scaled pretty well, all things considered. I think it's because they're lacking a true tank. If they had, a, like, let's say, a Leona Nautilus, things would be going way differently right now. But Melio doesn't even have magic resist, I don't think. And Ezreal just barely got any. We have six. How many grubs? We got six grubs, so we're going to break these turrets pretty quick. Good, missed my E, got the Q. Not bad. I'm pretty happy with that all in all, being on a full AP team. Let's look at the graphs. Looking at damage dealt against enemy champions, we have the most dealt on our team and almost the most in the game. A little bit behind the Ezreal for damage taken. Pretty high up, not the most for self mitigated. Wow, 71k. If you count that to damage taken, we easily took the most in the game because the, the highest one was Belveth at. Oh, was that 9k more? But I self mitigated around 25 30 more than anyone else. So, yeah, we did the most damage on our team. All right, let me look at the runes. Looking at runes, pretty high value. All in all, Mordekaiser Jungle is a whole lot of fun to play and has some solid carry potential. With that being said, I would recommend him when your team isn't incredibly AP heavy. Let me know what champions you want to see next down in the comments below. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.